Alright, oh, yeah, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Dangar Rapper Trigger Abbey Abbey. So, we're gonna continue with three time events. So, let's do this shit. Oh, that's like Jack. So, how, is, how about this weather? Gotcha. I have no idea what the weather is. Uh, it's a really good idea. It's a really good idea to hang out with Jess like Jack. Oh, I like Jess like Jack. You don't mind hanging out with a serial killer? I don't mind hanging out with a chump. Hey! What the hell? Jess like Jack and I uh, killed some time together. I just get a little close to Jess like Jack. Hmm. Do I really want to give a serial killer a present? Hmm. Why, uh... Does she even have shit that, that she likes? Let's see and find out. Alright. Wait, that's not what I meant. Like shit, like, <laughs> like, like, it's chapter three and I still haven't gotten used to the present thing, really. <laughs> present out of nowhere, huh? We're getting all flustered. I get the impression that she liked it, that's good. Damn. <laughs> For a serial killer. Nighttime announcement, obviously. Okay, then. All right, we so get it. We we get it, Mon. Come on, come on. Happy New Day. I'm the kind of guy that likes to that doesn't want to celebrate New Year, but rather dawn of every new day, because every new day deserves celebrating. So once again. Foreshadowing. Wait, did Mon Kuma foreshadow the new day as in the stable? Good morning, I get ready to I I I I Alright, now it's time to go to the dining hall. Let's go. Oh, y'all yeah, guys oh. here. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Mm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... So you... You don't have to get so mad. Yeah, you know. facts. They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that version. I might catch his virginity. Whoa, bro. Like, I get it that you're still pissed off with Taka over Ultigo. But still, calm the fuck down. Like, plus, y'all both shouldn't even be using Ultigo anyways. Like, like Kyoko says. But uh my guess is you're already infected. Wait, can you really catch it? 
Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands are close to my food. <laughs> oh, genocide Jack. <laughs> that voice. The doors to the dining hall explode open. And a figure appears. <laughs> so in the end. It's you, genocide Jack. That's enough. Stop barring acting why we arrive at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. I was wearing red lingerie today. Oh my god, you're try you're still trying to impress Biakia? Like Already we're in the third chapter already and you're still trying to impress Biakia. Like for real. Huh? I don't think anyone wants to know. Huh? Well, probably people that, that love hot girls might want to. Hold on a second, you What's your top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top and try to look thinner down south. You look at your melons. They're seriously gargantuan. You like to dunk in the milk every night? <laughs> oh my god. Really? You're really making fun of Tina's tits, are you? Like, like what the hell, Genocide Jack? Oh my god. From one rivalry to the next, basically. Oh. It's starting to freak me out. No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so what do you want? Surely you're not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. Story. Sorry about nobody that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about it right now. What? Why not? <gasps> because of certain cir circumstances. <sighs> up, up until now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. Yeah, facts. Like, for a while, you said that you didn't give a fuck about any of this shit, Fiasco, but now you want us to know? Like, choose a fucking side. Like, do you care or do you not care? Like, for real. It's all clear now. I just made my si made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. Damn, that's hard. What kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who can fit into your tri tri triangle majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If not else, tell me what's going on with Taka. I saw him yesterday. What? I happened to notice something seemed off. I was so curious. Is yeah, he? yeah, bro. He turned super sane. That's what. That's what drove him insane. Taka's become utterly useless. So, Les, you didn't have to say it like that. I see. Did Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothed themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> so perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camera, camera dear. I had a hard time pronouncing the word. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? You give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am un unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire to remove myself. Mm, yes, yes. Let's get out of here. Like, like, Genocide Jack, you, you do not have to follow Bianca all day, like, for real. Like, you just wait to get your ass beat by Biakia. Figure, like, like, figuratively and literally, like, for real. Stop talking. You don't need to come to me. Like, at least, at least, at least he says that you don't have to follow me at, everywhere. Like, like, 
like Jack, Jack, you don't you you don't have to be a stalker. Like you're just you're just trying to be a fucking stalker by this point. I don't have to play hard to get. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. Oh my god. Jan Janicide Jack just wants some dick. That's what she wants. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. The Akia started slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed, and as soon as he was sprinting out of the dining hall, <laughs> he ran away? So now he's running to hard to get. I see. <laughs> Wait. Um. So at the end, there. What was that all about? Uh, um, Just now, Bianca was like, um, maybe he was like the me guy who starts acting different and getting all flourished when things change. Mm. Guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. Damn. What 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 is it with Janice like Jack in this episode? Like for real. <laughs> like goddamn. More free time events? God damn, there's a lot of free time events. <laughs> Alright. I'll do one another free time event. But I gotta see where everybody uh, where everybody's at. Louis, we'll same place. Gail the same place. Gail, no 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 a different place, sorry. Where the hell is that way? Oh, so oh, some of them is in different places. Okay. Okay. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. Well. Quote from a famous marathon runner, Samuel One Drew. Huh. But every person's endure has a limit. So should I talk with Hina for a while? Alright. Yeah. I think we need to change the pace. And when I think change you pace. Got it. I can only think fifty laps in the pool. Of course, because you're the ultimate swimming pro. Right. Looking for a present for her. All right. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I, I like you, Nicole. I mean, not like, like, not like that. All right. So you like me? So you like me as a friend? All right, like that's pretty good. Like it's okay to be friends, Hina. You know that, right? Oh man, oh man, what happened? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come? It doesn't matter. Now that I'm wrapped up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited here. What's your deal? Make fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. <laughs> really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz. Yeah. Like. He see me wearing shorts in the winter, and he sets up stuff like that. 
But if I lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. So you're basically saying is that no matter what time of the day or what time of the year it is, you're, you still wear shorts either way. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong! Getting sick is for the week. Yup, fact, Tina. I wear shorts by joy the time too. Like, bro. Winter needs even lighter clothes. It's all part of our training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type that gets sick easily? Actually, yeah. So, Makoto gets sick easily. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. I've got a perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah! Actually, I do this myself every morning. Just strip down to your, to your waist. Then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. Oh my god. I call it, uh... Huh? I call it again? Yeah. Is it towel treatment? You got it. That's it. Oh, let's go to my oh my apartment balcony, strip down, and feel the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let morning pass without getting a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and strip down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> Just give it a try. If you haven't gotten your health, you haven't got anything. I hate to see you catch cold or something. That's pretty cool to learn. So yeah. After the unique sickness pre prevention method, I went back to my room. Still have some time. Just can't say I won't do nothing. I guess I'll find something to do. Yeah, you'll we'll find something to do in the very next episode. So, there you have it. That's the 50th episode of Think Around by Trigger Abbey Havoc. Goddamn, 50? Already? Dead serious. Like, like, I think this, Burnout Dominator, and Burnout Revenge are so far like the only playthroughs to have 50 plus episodes of it. I might be wrong, but, but also true at the same time. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.